Welcome to part two of building R2-D2. This time we're still working on the dome, but we're cutting bits out and sticking bits on. We'll start by cutting out the panels, we'll prepare them and paint them, we'll then paint the hollow projectors and the radar eye, and then we'll attach everything to the dome. We'll go from this to this. Make life a bit easier when the time comes to stick the panels on the inner dome once they've all been cut out is I'm going to number them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a practical effect, folks. This is actually happening. This is no George Lucas CGI crap. Okay, so I've just got back from work and a rather curious package has arrived. Now, I've opened this, so I know exactly what's inside, but seeing as the internet seems obsessed with unboxing things, I thought I'd show you what's in the box. A set of three hollow projectors and some lenses. My radar eye gives me a lot of personality, I think. Now, as you can see, all the panels are held in place with these little tabs of metal. Now, a junior hacksaw is too big, so I shall employ the uses of a mini hacksaw. So the dome is pie panel free now, they've all been removed, but they have some sharp edges on them. I don't know if you can see that, but every edge has got a very sharp spike on it. Now not only is that quite dangerous, but it's not very nice looking either. When it's stuck on the dome, they're going to look pretty hideous and it's going to make painting a bit of a nightmare. So what I need to do now is file all the sharp edges off. So this is a set of metal files. This one is nice and flat and it's perfect for getting one of these pie panels, finding a sharp edge, which isn't, which isn't difficult because it's very sharp, and just running it along the edge like this. Once finished, you end up with one of these, which is a wonderfully smooth pie panel. No Hello again. It's time to paint the panels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my balls out. I'm going to use these foil balls so I can put the balls down, put the panel on top, and because these are a bit squishy I can kind of manipulate them to get the panel exactly where I want it. And then I can spray paint the panel, keep repeating, keep sanding until I get the finish that I want. Right, so R2-D2 now has blue panels. They've been primed several times, they've been sanded several times, and spray painted blue again several times. I, what I've also done is cut out the rest of the panels. So as you can see, R2 is now full of holes. Hey Madeleine. Yeah. How's it looking? I've spent hours upon hours doing this. Hey there, welcome to the workshop. Now, I want these to look perfect. In order to make them look perfect, they need lacquering. So, there are two options apparently. Either sand them, then lacquer them, or apply lacquer to wet paint. So I have sectioned off a section of the inner dome, which you can't see once it's whole constructed, so I can do an experiment. Whichever looks the best, I will then apply to these beasts here and to the rest of the panels once they are blue. It was my birthday two days ago and I got a present which should help in my build of R2-D2. A Dremel! Remember when spray painting to always wear a mask. I chipped a panel. It's going to prime the entire thing and start from scratch. No, it's not Bane from Batman. It's still me, Dan. I'm oh, getting headaches from all the spray painting, so I've got a proper mask now that filters out fumes. 
You may be. Yeah. <laughs> Safety glasses on. It's time to Dremel, bitches! This. This is for my knees. That is insanely loud. That is looking pretty epic now. So what I'm going to do is take all the little tiny weenie pieces, put them onto the dome so I can separate out the ones that need spray paint in blue from the ones that need leaving silver. This is a great opportunity, by the way, to get any pieces which don't sit flush against the dome because they've bent, to get them and just manipulate them back into shape. Also, there are parts of the inner dome that need spray paint in blue because you can see it through the outer dome. So what I'm going to do is mark that on with a pencil and spray paint it. So when the outer dome's on top of it, it'll look amazing. It's now time to work on the hollow projectors and the radar eye. Right, all of these pieces have been sanded, primed, and then sanded again. Right then, long story cut short, hollow projectors ruined because the spray paint went from silver to this gray. I used regular paint to paint them with a brush, but I'm not happy with the finish. So I'm gonna sand them down and spray paint them again and just keep a close eye on the spray paint. The hollow projectors now have lenses. I had to cut very close to the circle inside, as you can see from this piece of plastic uh, left over. But the lenses themselves are actually very realistic. For a piece of plastic, it looks like glass. Now, there's no glue holding that in. Um, I simply forced it through the top, and it wedged itself into the recess and held itself in place. It's now time to attach the blue ring, and I'm going to do that using these 3mm tile spacers. The tile spacers don't hold in place because of the rounded edges. So by cutting one of the edges off so it's nice and flat, it wedges in nicely. The three mil tile spacers ensure that there's a nice even three mil gap between the base and the blue ring. Well, R2 has undergone a bit of a transformation. At the moment, R2 looks a bit like Pinhead from Hellraiser. But what I've done is I've used epoxy resin to glue the pie panels to the dome. I had to align the dome first to make sure that it was on straight using these holes here as a visual guide to make sure the hole was in the center of the circle there. Well there we go, it's looking pretty decent. It's now time to attach the rest of the panels. The place is a tip but I've put the rest of the panels on. Epoxy resin, I've taped them on to keep them all level while it dries and I tapped every panel while the glue was wet just to make sure it's evenly distributed and any gaps are filled. I'm just super gluing the hollow projector together. Okay, it's time to attach the hollow projectors now. Top rear, back, and the movable one at the front. Well, the radar eye hasn't gone quite to plan, so it's sat in a tub of nail varnish remover at the moment, and I'm scraping the paint off so I can redo it. Well, it's been announced on the news that legendary R2-D2 actor Kenny Baker has died. So, Kenny, I'm going to have a beer on you. Well, after two weeks of stripping and priming and painting and lacquering, here we go. The radar eye, take two. Beautiful. I've attached the radar eye. All I have to do now is polish the dome. Well, the dome is polished now, and it's looking pretty gorgeous. Would you like to see it? 